what's going on everybody katie mob culture over here welcome to my channel once again and today we're doing another product review and in question we have supreme luxury car care jet wash foam shampoo in the past we did stuff really simple i would just put it in the foam cannon blast it on the car and give you my honest review this time we're gonna do stuff a little bit differently I'm breaking shampoos up in three categories. One, foam. Two, the gloss finish after the wash in three, affordability. This is going to be the best advice I can give you. We're going to have a meter ranking zero to 10, and we're going to give a total score out of 30, and we're going to start washing with that. So Supreme Luxury Car Care is a division of Supreme Wheel and Tire. They've now broken into the car care cleaning product industry and they offer some really, really cool products at really great affordable prices. This in question, 90 Rand. So I'm going to put it through the paces. Like I said before, we have three new categories that I'll be judging out of 10. Uh, I'll also leave you to be the judge. Car is stinky dirty. So <laughs> with all the rain that we've been having here in Joburg, great time to wash car sun is out i'm gonna get to it but just to mention some other products that they have they have this really cool tire shine dressing comes with a really cool tool they also have a silk shampoo so this from my understandings for better gloss also used for in the bucket wash uh, i'll verify prices with you at the end of the video and then for all the wheel junkies apparently this thing is the bomb so i'll also be trying i'll be actually let me let's let's do a series on these stuff so let's do a series on all of them let me take you through all the products that they gave me to review and test out and i'll give you my honest feedback we'll judge it out of 10 give a no roll score out of 30 and i can give you some proper advice if you should be going out and spending your money on supreme luxury care so let's get into the video let's get into the wash and i'm going to take you step by step pov style from my phone so far it's looking promising i haven't cracked it open so let's do the honors together let's get into the video we're going to do a walk around around the car I'm going to actually show you how dirty the car has been over these past few weeks where we've had with the rain. And as you can see straight away, really dirty, debris that's caught on the highway. It's all that rain, all that mush. You know, after this rainy season, you're going to want a car shampoo that you rely on, it's affordable for you, and at the end of the day, gives you results. Moving on to the wheel. As you can see really dirty i'm not going to use any of the other products i'm just going to use the foam shampoo moving on to my mixture so i'm going to have a standard mixture of 150 ml of shampoo and 350 ml of hot warm water why we mix warm water to get that foam really thick it's a really nice test why do I keep it at about a mixture of 500 mils? That's personal preference. My car takes about 500 mils. So for today's test, we are using the Crazy Detailer Foam Cannon. It sells for around about 700 or 800 Rand. I got it on a special. Uh, and this Foam Cannon kicks ass. It's really the foam cannon to have if you have a Karsha K series high pressure washer. Foam cannon really disperses the foam really nice. And as you can see immediately, first impressions the foam is thick, the foam is sticky, uh, it's sticking on the car, and that's something I really like.
drip test. So what I've done with the drip test is I've left it to drip for exactly 60 seconds, one minute. I wanted to see um, if it, the foam actually sticks on the car, if it totally drips off. This is our first and most important test is if the foam is thick, does it stick? And if it's worth it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this an eight. Reason why I'm giving it an eight out of 10 is my mixture could have been wrong. It did drip a little bit, not as fast, but it did stick and it was really thick and heavy on the car. The shampoo also has like a nice scent, so it may it gives it a little bit of a pleasure washing your car. So that's definitely brownie points. I did make some in a bucket to wash the wheels. Um, I did the car first, of course, and then obviously moved into wheels. So I don't have a brush or anything fancy like that. I wanted to keep it simple. Uh, actually, I don't own one. <laughs> so, <laughs> making excuses over here. But, different cloth, different bucket for the wheels. Sun's out. Look what it's doing to the paint. This car has not been detailed ever. It's nice, it's glossy, it's silky. You can see the water dripping off, sliding off. As you can see, you can judge for yourself. I'm in love with the finish from the shampoo. It's silky, the gloss, the paint is popping. So it really did take out all that grime, all that dirt, all that debris. And as you can see, the end result is really good. I'm going to go and give this a 9 out of 10 for finish and gloss. Last but not least. Affordability. Let's talk about affordability definitely value for money good thick foam cleans the car really well gloss the final finish is really nice and as you can see i didn't use that much affordability i'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 very good shampoo I really enjoyed my experience with this and at the end of the day there is certain tests that we probably can do but I don't want to bore you with it I just want to give you an honest opinion would I go and buy this and would I advise you to buy it yes I would please leave your comments below if you think that maybe um, we missed out on something or maybe we should add in the video but I think we've covered it in all terms of aspects that you can buy shampoo on which is how well does it foam does it leave a good finish and affordability and this is what these reviews are all about giving you honest opinion it's affordable it's cheap it's our market not everybody has that type of money to spend 400 rand on uh, foam you know high foam shampoo um, so overall we're giving the shampoo 27 out of 30. Damn, son. Great product. I think you guys should definitely go out and grab a bottle and try it for yourself. And I know you're probably getting used of me saying good things about all shampoos, but I'm going to stick to my word. Solid 27. This is a really good shampoo. And, um, if you want, I'll give you a week update or weekly update on how the gloss and finish is holding up after a week of driving to work and back. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you, helps you in choosing a shampoo. And if you're wondering if the shampoo lives up to the hype, most certainly does. 
and um, please like, subscribe, and thank you once again for watching one of my reviews. This is Katie, Mob Culture. Yeah.